Welcome to the 10th annual Toronto Raptors Coaches Open House presented by our friends at Tangerine. So, Maddie D, miss you, man. How are you, my friend? I'm amazing. <laughs> the one question I was asked is, like, can I play? Can I get in, get in on the game? Get in on the cahoots? We'll hurt, we'll, we might hook you up with okay, something Okay, appreciate after. it. NBA Coach of the Year, Toronto Raptors, Nick Nurse. Joining me is not one, but two of the assistant coaches with the Toronto Raptors. I like to say I'm a basketball guru that happens to know how to work with data. And I think the message was clear, and that is uh, we all matter. You said it, representation matters. If you can't be, you can't see it. We've, we've said it a million times, right? But it's it's time to be about it. Doesn't matter where you are. When I say one voice, I want you with passion and energy to say one team. One voice. One team. One voice. One team. All right. No one um, has greater value than anyone else, especially based on uh, the color of your skin or your appearance or, or gender for that matter. You're not an athlete or a coach uh, 24 hours a day. You are a human being 24 hours a day. They say it's a circle of life. You pay it forward, right? We were given something. Right. We have a duty to pay it forward, and that's not only basketball. It was a similar type of action where Kawhi came to the top to get the catch and ended up creating an unbelievable shot. Again, Boston does a really good job of taking away the first couple options on this play, but they do forget about the option that's on the weak side, and that ends up being the one that wins the game for us. The best advice I ever received from a coach was to feel the fear and do it anyway. Just be a lifelong learner, evolve as the game evolves, study other teams, study other coaches, um, listen to other philosophies and expand your own philosophy that way. To love the game, because that's where it's all going to start. They have to be taught in general how to how to love the game. You know, whether you're coaching in Britain or you're coaching the G League, you know, you still have the man on the team. You still have interpersonal dynamics. You still have people that want playing time. You still have people who, um, you know, are complaining about, you know, their role. And so those dynamics don't change whether whatever level you're coaching at. And it's on our uh, NBA uh, and USA basketball, youth basketball guidelines, which encourages multi-sport participation. Um, the doctors that we consulted with actually um, suggested don't specialize in basketball until at least the age of 14. We want them all to be able to stretch the floor, create spacing, uh, have fun, right? I think there's nothing more fun in the game of basketball than watching your own shot go through the basket. Best ideas don't just come from the people with the most experience. You know, that uh, everyone has good ideas. Um, a lot of times it, it's your players who are giving you great feedback on, on how things should be done. It's the heart of our development. It's the heart of our coaching staff. Um, is to keep things simple, but most importantly, to keep the message the same so that the players aren't hearing a ton of different messages um, and it's not just confusing for everybody within the organization. Hey, I think it's the single biggest uh, mistake in basketball coaching is that not enough coaches uh, teach shooting. It's a hallmark of Nick Nurse, his, his unwavering support and, and confidence in his players. 